Filch's cat. Oh! Oh, damn! You murdered my cat. What? Wait, how did you? Wait, wait, what? I boom, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. A lot of people told me that this is where Harry Potter kind of gets a bit dark. And I was like, whoa, oh, okay. In the second movie, it gets dark from here. So I'm kind of looking forward to this one. Apparently, the one that the scene that I described from the first movie, um, where he said Harry Potter talked to Snake, is from this one. So I'm kind of I'm kind of looking forward to like seeing him talk to snakes. Uh, if it is from this one, like a lot of people said, it sounds like you'll talk about the second movie. I was like, all right, cool. But obviously, like I said, I don't remember anything from the second movie apart from that one scene that I described. But let me get my plugs in. Follow me on Instagram in the comments in the description down below. If you guys do want to see Harry Potter all movies before they are out on YouTube, head over to the Patreon in the description down below. We're gonna be there is other movies out there. There's like Marvel, Transformers going to be happening. We're going to be doing um, either Stranger Things or The Boys, like I said in the movie one. So apparently a lot of people saying Stranger Things, a lot of people saying The Boys. I don't know which one we'll do first. Either way, I'm excited. So going to be a lot of stuff going on in there. And obviously they're coming out on YouTube as well. But if you guys do want to see them earlier and support me in the description down below to the Patreon. And yeah, without further ado, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, this is this is moving kind of creepy, no? Like not creepy, like mysterious. Maybe it's just very misty. I don't know. Apparently, um, the people that done Star Wars also did the Harry Potter music, which is why it sounds sort of similar. Because I think I noticed that. I was like, I think I said in the first movie, this sounds a bit like um, the Star Wars music. Oh, he's not in Hogwarts anymore? He's in, I don't know where, is Bristol? I think they said he was at in the first movie. Wait, what does, wait, what does using magic have to do with letting out your owl? Could you not just let him out to like, do you know what I mean? Damn. Now you've done it. Alarm, he bro just wants to be free. Oh, that is kind of nice. I can't lie. We raised you since you were a baby. Give me what? What? I hate. Oh my god. Why are they? Why is he moving? Like you've done him a favor. Like I'm not being funny. If that's your sister's nephew, if that's if that's your sister, wait, if that's your wife's nephew. Should you not take him in from the kindness of your heart without throwing it back in his face? Because I know for a fact, if like anything happened to my sister and her kids, like, um, like if anything happened to my sister and like her kids didn't have a home, they could, like I'm saying, I'm taking him in. And I'm not going to throw it in their face being like, oh my God, I've taken you in when your, when your mom died and your dad died and I've taken you out of kindness of my heart. I'm not going to throw it in your, like, I'm looking after you because we're blood. Like, what's wrong with you? I hate people like that. And I, and I think I had an aunt like this and I, I cut her off straight away. Like, ugh, I hate people like that. If you're a fat kid. Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't body shame. <clears throat> but I feel like it's okay to body shame when a person's a bit of a prick. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like if you're kind, sure. But if you're just a prick, I feel like it's fine to body shame. You know what I mean? Anyway. I'll be waiting to open the door. Why is he talking like that? I'll be waiting to open the door. <laughs> Shut up. Why don't you sit down? What's going on with him? Whoa! He's not allowed to sit down? Wait, why is he crying? You can't have met many decent wizards. I was, yeah, I was going to say, wait. No one's on to sit down? It's an awful thing to say. Oh my God, what is he doing? Why is he... Oh no. Oh, don't mind that. It's just the cat. Your cat's being a... <laughs> Maybe just like put your hand over his head or something. Dobby, the hell have you been through? Family. Oh, wait, Dobby, he's in, um, he's in, um, Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, no, I don't know if it's actually, I don't know if it's him, but there's stuff that look like him in Hogwarts Legacy. I think, I think there's a mission where you have to do, I think, I think there's a mission in Hogwarts Legacy where you have to talk to like them. I didn't, I don't know. I don't know if they're, I can't remember if they're house elves. Or I can't, I don't know what house of is, but there's like a mission where they're like cooking and it's like, oh, they, they do all the cooking and stuff. I think that's it. And there's like a mission you have to do with them. Oh, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's Dobby, but there's like creatures that look like him in the thing, in um, Hoggle's Legacy, from what, I, from what I remember. That took me a while to clock, I can't even know. Okay, I understand. You can't say. Oh no, what are you about to do? Oh my God. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. The, 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 the Dobby looking niggas in Hogwarts Legacy was not moving like this, though. I can't lie to you. Why is he abusing himself? This is mad. I can't lie. Harry 
Potter mustn't be angry with Dobby. Wait, what? Dobby hoped if Harry Potter thought his friends had forgotten him, oh, want to go back to school. So, oh, so they was writing to you, but you were stealing his letters and then baited yourself out. That is not, you could not be a criminal, Dobby. I can't even lie. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what? You know, I was I was I was expecting him to run and jump on the countertop. I was not expecting him to use magic. I can't even lie to you. And then Dobby must do it, sir, for Harry Potter's own good. I feel like if he messes up this party, they're gonna make him go back to Hogwarts even sooner rather than later. Do you get what I mean? Like they're not gonna. They're not, if he messes up this promotion thing, he's not gonna want to keep him in the house. So that doesn't seem smart. I can't lie. You're never going back to that school. You're never gonna see those freaky friends of yours again. Wait, but why would you want to keep him in the house if he messed up? Oh my god. No, that's mad. Man, just bro is in prison. Is that um? What's his name? Oh no, that's not me. But that's got. That's got two lights. That's a flying car. Oh damn! Hi, Harry. Ron just pulled up. Wait, how did he? Wait, how did he know that he needed help? I guess to be fair with you, though, I guess if the if he hasn't written back all summer, then you're gonna probably be like, wait a minute, I ain't something came right. But why did it? Okay. <coughs> oh my god! Get your ass in that car. They got him locked up in there. Kick him! Pigeon, Kick him! Get off. Oh my god, please let him fall. Please let him fall. Please let him fall. Yes. Brilliant. Is he dead? I mean, guys, never wish death upon people, but listen, that nigga needed to die. I can't even lie. He's he's just not a nice person. By the way, Harry, happy birthday. Is his birthday? And bro was locked up? Wow. It's knitting itself. It's not much. It's home. That's what you man live. That's yeah, only so compared to his locked up cage. Where have you been? Um They were starving him, Mum. Yeah, they really were. Window. Yeah. Best hope I don't put bars on your window, Ronald Weasley. Nah, they done a great thing, I can't lie. You can't I feel like you never shout at your children for helping out their friends. As long as they don't like commit a crime or nothing like that, and I don't really think that's a crime. But you should never like shout them for helping out your friends. That's it. I feel like they did a great thing. Why did I? Whoa, is she okay? The fuck is wrong with her? I'm Harry, sir. Harry Potter. Good lord. Are you really? This guy is famous. Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back last night. Oh, wait, Surrey? Damn, that's my end. I can't even lie. How'd it go? Oh, <laughs> I mean... That's such a dad thing to do. Wait, so, wait, how'd it go? Tell me about it. Yeah, that would be me. The hell is that? Wait, who's who's that? Oh Jesus Christ! Wait, who's this? Who's who's this guy? Is that that they have three brothers? Wait, yeah. Well, obviously we know runs. Obviously we know these two, but who's this nigga? We ain't seen him before. Diagonally. He said diagonally. He didn't say diagonal alley. He said diagonally. Where would he? Where does? I'm not gonna. I thought I might kill him. I'm not even gonna. Wow. Okay. So where did he end up then? Because your bro said Dagony, which is, I don't even know if that's even a place. Oh. 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 Oh, God. Is he in like a death museum? Why would you touch that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Don't touch anything else in that store. Where the hell is he? This place is like the ghetto. Yeah, I would not walk past him. I can't even lie. Oh. What the hell is he doing here? What are you doing here? Nah, he would he was about to get murdered or kidnapped. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, it's great to see you too. What did you do to your glasses? Oh, do repairo. Oculus repairo. Ah, my nose is a tr ah! Who's that? His dad? Lucius Malfoy. Yeah, okay, that is his dad. I was gonna say blonde hair, the kind of look the same. Forgive me. Whoa! Why are you letting man just chops you up like that? Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. He was nothing more than a murderer. 
Wait, sorry, what did he say? As of course was the wizard who gave it to him. Oh, bro, really killed the murder that killed his parents, a legend or a legendary. That's kind of mad. Yeah, back, back your thing. Harry, let, let him cook. Let him cook. Oh, is that, oh, is that mom and dad? Muggles. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, Hermione's parents are normal humans. So how did she get magic powers then? Oh, is that why she studied so hard? Because I guess she was like gifted with the magic somehow. And then that's why like she was like reading books and doing all that she can do. That kind of makes sense now, actually. I can't even know. He dropped in another book. Damn. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. You can't let man talk to your family like in front of your kids. Like, you gotta bang him. I'm so, like, you, you can't. Like, you can't. Damn. Oh, then again, I guess you kind of gotta be the... See the school. Some knock this kid out. So, he's a disgrace to the wizardry world because he talks to humans. Or people without, ma people without magic. I would say humans, like, they're not all humans, but you know what I'm talking about. It's behind him, innit? <laughs> Even oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. I think we found the train. Definitely have. Yeah, yeah. You definitely, definitely have. My god. Well, why did he not just fly up instead of like spinning round? I guess that's exciting, right? Oh my days. Nah, that tree's mad. I can't. That tree. That tree. How is it just attacking him like that? That's why I just turned it down. Like, how is he just attacking him like that? Scabbers, are you okay? He's got a mouse? Wait, the car's just driving off by itself. Nah, the car really said this, and I'm done with you, man. You don't lost your mind. That's gonna kill me. Where would the car even be driving? Oh, we just drove into the forest. Right, I mean, we, we saw what's in that forest, boy. That place is. So a house elf shows up in my bedroom. We can't get through the barrier to platform nine and three quarters. We almost get killed by a tree. Oh, do you think it might have been the house elf that closed the barrier? That actually kind of makes sense because he doesn't want him to go to Hogwarts. That actually kind of makes sense because um, the time they ran in, it was it wasn't eleven. Do you know what I'm saying? This night might well be the last you spend in this castle. What? Why? Oh dear, we are in trouble. <laughs> I've heard that meme. Oh dear, we are in trouble. <laughs> I didn't know it was from Harry Potter. Not to mention the damage you inflicted on a whomping willow that's been on these grounds since before you were born. I feel like that that thing done more. I think it did more damage. To yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like you know that that tree did more damage to them than you did to the tree. Like you might have broke some roots, but that tree was attacking. Like that tree was not trying to hold back. Having written quite a few of them myself. Damn. Spin. But as head of Gryffindor House, it is for Professor McGonagall to determine. Oh, she's the head of Gryffindor House. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I didn't even know they had a professor's, professor's head of a house. Is that why she got him the broom? That makes sense now. In the season, in the first movie, she got him the broom. She got him the broom because they're in the same house. Why didn't they just tell us that at the beginning? Like, why would? Okay. I must impress on both of you the seriousness of what you have done. Yeah. So what, what's the? And you will both receive detention. Is that it? I'm not gonna lie. Ron's parents will be upset. I think overall he'll be fine. Harry's foster parents. Honestly, I don't think they care. Like, they're not gonna do anything. I like, think they're not gonna be able to, they're not gonna come here and do anything. Do you know what I'm saying? It'll be fine. I remember, yeah, when, when teachers tell me they're gonna call my house after school or like send me letters home, I used to sit by the phone and like um, wait for the phone to end up not like not pick up the house phone. And then they send like they leave a message, and I'll just delete the message. And when it comes to letters, I'll make sure I get home before anybody else. Open up the letters and then rip it up and put it in the bin. <laughs> never catch me, never catch me slacking. The mandrake's cry is fatal to anyone who hears it. Excellent, ten points to Gryffindor. Hey! But they could knock you out for several hours, which is why. What? Oh wait, I think these are. I think we. I think I've done this in Hogwarts Legacy, where they have to put it out and then you have to put it like replant it or something like that because it screams or something like that. Grasp your mandrake firmly. You pull it sharply out of the box. Yeah, it screams, isn't it? Oh my god, it's that. Wow. It's. Oh no, bro, passed out. Wow. No, ma'am. He's just fainted. Yeah, as well. Just leave him there. Right. <laughs> like I said, all right, yeah, leave him. And pull it up. 
Oh my god, that's gonna be extra loud. They're all screaming at the same time. Ronald Weasley! Oh my god! How dare you steal that car? Oh my <laughs> That is mad. That is actually mad. You could send letters that scream? Oh my god, we need to do this shit in real life. That would be fire. But it's very embarrassing. Cozy Nimbus 2001s. How did you get those? The whole team has them. You see, Weasley, unlike some, my father can afford the best. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. Damn. Damn. She, 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 she's spitting, though. No one asked your opinion. You thought it was my blood. Is that an insult? That sounded rude. I can't like it sounded like it meant to hurt her feelings, but what is what's a mudblood? Mudblood. What wait, what do they call the people again that I don't have I can't remember what they call the people that don't have magic. Let's take them to Hagrid. Uh, no, that's embarrassing, man. So bro bought himself onto the team by buying everybody else. For specialist equipment. Bro said eat slugs and he's the one eating slugs. Oh Ron, I love you, bro, but Is that like, is that like, see you next Tuesday in English? Like, that's a, that's a hard word. So, like, yeah, what's a mudblood? Mudblood's a really foul name for someone who is muggle-born. Someone with non-magic Oh, so basically what they're saying is you have dirty blood because your parents are normal humans and not magic humans. But you have magic, though. Otherwise, you wouldn't be at Hogwarts. There's some wizards, like the Malfoy family, who think they're better than everyone else. Yeah, I could see that. Don't you think on it. Tr tell him. <coughs> oh, bless her soul. What the hell? Didn't you hear it? Nah, what the hell is going on? It's time. It's moving. I think it's going to kill. What? Kill. I mean, it did say kill, kill, kill. What? Blood. Who's blood? It's Vulture's cat. Oh shit! Oh damn! You murdered my cat. What? Oh. Wait, how did you? Wait, wait, what? How did you pin that on Harry? Like, <laughs> a bro has no blood. Like, wh wh what? Also, do you remember in movie one where he was like, um, when um, what's his name, Dragon? got taken away so i was just a dragon da, 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 da. and i was like well imagine if your cat got taken away i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't actually think his cat would get taken away but you're not laughing now though are you you're not laughing now that's mad i can't even but how did you why, why would you just blame it on harry we just found him when he said no don't say nothing about the voices mature portion will be made which will revive mrs norris oh so where did the blood come from then because if the cat's not dead oh revive that means it or like revive the petrification. Even in the wizarding world, hearing voices isn't a good sign. What does she know about it? I need more information. She's right, you know. Listen, go and be a photo. Why are you getting involved? <laughs> Professor, I was wondering if you could tell us about the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, yeah, we saw it on the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to us nice. You very well. Oh, okay. I was supposed to, to like be like sharp and do your work, but... Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago. By I'm glad I did not know that. No, I did know that because that's the story of Hogwarts Legacy. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. It was like a thousand years ago, though. But it was like you have to do like these missions for the the, the four wizards that founded people, where you have to do like trials and stuff like that for them. It's kind of fun, actually. I can't even lie. I haven't finished it though. Rowena Ravenclaw and Salazar Slytherin. Salazar Slytherin sounds evil. I can't even lie. I was gonna say, yeah, that even that name itself just sounds a bit like, oh, Slavis. I'm not gonna have fire ass name, by the way, but Slavis are all silvering. I don't remember, because in Hogwarts Legacy, I remember I, I got to the point where I think I started talking to the woman, Professor, but I didn't do her trial. Man, I need to, I need to complete this game. I actually need to complete this game. I'm actually getting mad curious now. The heir alone would be able to open the chamber. What, his son? And unleash the horror. Within and by so doing when you say air, do you, I guess, 
because it's over a thousand years ago, it can't be his son. So you mean someone in his like family lion? Like not lion, lion. If Malfoy is the heir of Slytherin, he could attack half the Muggleborns in the school by then. That's true. But then the words you've only got one. Yeah, I was gonna, and you can't get teachers involved because then they're gonna be like, "What? Like, no." Oh, was it Quidditch time? Let's go. Do they just do they just play the same houses all the time? Shouldn't you just be looking for the for the thingy though, Harry? What's the score? What's the score? What's the score? Ninety thirty. Wow, you might are getting wrapped. The thing is though, they can't make Harry catch the golden bitch like two movies in a row. That would just be a bit like, eh, all right. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, snitch. Whoa! Watch yourself, Harry. That's moving. Oh, oh, what the hell? Is that going after him? That's been tampered with, that has. I'll stop it. No, no, not with your wand. You could hit Harry. Yeah, and after your accident with the slugs, yeah, let's you just chill, Ron. Damn! Not him, back, Harry. Back him in his jaw. Oh, lovely. Brilliant. 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 Played. Played. Love that. <laughs> Tell me you're disappointed of your son. Tell me you're disappointed about your son. My God, bro, wait. <sighs> I'm going to catch it. Oh, Jesus. His, his arm. Did he get it? Did he get it? Again. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god! What the fuck is going on? Why was no teacher doing anything with that with the with the ball though? Why were they just allowing that? What? Well you didn't kill anything the first time, you just paralyzed the cat. Oh my Hello? god, why are you here? Harry Potter should have gone back home when he missed the train. It was you. It was him. It was him. How powerful is Dobby for him to stop a barrier? Like, that sounds like it's, it's like he needs to be pretty powerful. Dobby had to iron his hands. What? You better clear off before my bones come back, Dobby, or I might strangle you. The only thing that's putting... No, he is hearing his voices. Okay, apart from the voices, I mean, that's not really putting him in danger. The only thing that's putting Harry Potter in danger is Dobby. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, uh, cool, he's hearing the voices, but they feel like it's a warning because they don't, they don't, they don't, they're not, they're not technically going after Harry. They're just letting him know something's going on. For example, the cat thing. You know what I'm saying? Dobby's the only one putting Harry's dangerous life in danger. Like, what? Let's have a volunteer pair. Malfoy. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is no, 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 no. Uh. What's that? Oh, da oh, damn! What the hell was that? Oh, sh what the hell? Oh my god! Is this it? What is that? Hazala! Yeah, it is! Whoa! Oh, I don't remember this. So that's why everybody's scared because he's making its face a student. What are you playing at? <laughs> Bro was traumatized and then as soon as died. <laughs> what are you playing at? <laughs> oh, you pussy. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> that's mad. So he just started just chatting to. But he just started chatting to the snake like in a foul tongue. Harry, listen to me. There's a reason the symbol of Slytherin House is a serpent. Exactly. Wait, I what? I was gonna think you're his great 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 grandson or something. But I'm not. Wait, so is he the reason why the chamber of the chamber of secrets is open then? Because he can talk the tongue if it's not a very common thing. Is that is that is that where we're going with this? See, at first I thought it was Voldemort, but now I'm thinking it's not Voldemort. Because I feel like Voldemort wouldn't, wouldn't give him a warning. I feel like this is a warning. Do you get what I'm saying? Ain't he already dead, though? What's, is he hanging? Oh! 
I'll have you out this time, Potter. Cool, will it? I mean, to be fair, that is kind of suspicious. You, you, you don't understand. <laughs> That's terrible acting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I feel like you should just follow them, because they've left. They've left that scene. They left the first scene, and they left the second scene, and uh, sorry, the third scene. I swear I didn't. No, they know you didn't. Because you wasn't there for the for the second one. So why would they think it's you? Because you was in bed that second time. That looks like one of those poke that fire Pokemon from um from Pokemon. I can't remember its name though. Fletchling or the, the evolved version of Fletchling, but like more cleaner. Cause that team looks old, bro. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Oh, oh, that's fire, Professor Dumbledore, sir. It wasn't Harry. Hagrid. In fact, I'd be prepared to swear in front of the minister. I feel like they know, though. I feel like they know it wasn't Harry because. Cool, the first one he was there, the second one he wasn't there, he was in bed, and you not saw him in bed. So I don't and then the third one he was there, but that was just a coincidence. You don't think it was me, Professor? No, why would they? But I must ask you, is there something you wish to tell me? I think you should tell him about the voice, I can't lie. I feel like he's the only one you could trust with it. No, sir. You're a fucking idiot. No. I feel like I feel like if you're gonna tell anybody about the voice. Fuck Hermione, fuck Ron. I feel like Dumbledore is the only one. I <coughs> not even Hermione, fuck Ron. Is Dumbledore would probably be the only teacher I feel like you could tell and he'll understand. Do you get what I'm saying? But like, if you was to tell like another teacher, I'd be like, oh. But Dumbledore, I feel like because he's been around for so long and he's old and he's like wise, I feel like he'd be like, okay, cool, I get that. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's the only one <laughs> you could ever tell. And just be like, okay, cool. This I, I get. I, I kind of get what's going on. Do you know? I'm going to go check on the Polyjuice Potion. Make sure that Crab and Goyle find these. Right. Okay. So they need to. Oh, but they're trying to pull me into them so they fit their clothes in. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> well, maybe, maybe I... Yeah. Please, please, please get a new one, Ron. A new one, Ron. Wait, so they just came across two floating <coughs> muffins and, and like none of the wiser just went, oh, this is great. Oh, my God. Uh, and even ate it. They didn't even say anything about it. They just. Wow. Ugh, essence of crab. I mean, to be fair, though, you did have slugs coming out of your mouth. So I feel like you, whatever you drink now is just fine. Oh, God, it is nasty. Even looks it as well. Oh, so if they only needed to drink so little, couldn't they not have done it quicker? Oh, that's mad. So is his whole face gonna? Oh, damn. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that is fire. Bloody hell. <laughs> Why are you wearing glasses? Yeah, I was gonna. Uh, um, reading. Reading. <laughs> Bro's just like, wait. Uh, oh, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> That's actually fire. I'm surprised that the Daily Prophet hasn't done a report on all these attacks. Of course, they're not going to. Father always said that Dumbledore was the worst thing that ever happened to this place. Whoa. Wrong. Whoa. Don't go out of character. You're acting very odd. It's his stomach. Damn. You're telling me this guy's rich, but he's still robbing. Oh no. And I was up already. She turned into a cat. Look at my <laughs> she was kind of cute though. Nah, this ghost girl is a villain. Oh my God. How was she just laughing at her? She is a villain. I mean, I was laughing as well, but you know. Wait, what? Don't ask me. Who threw something at her? I wouldn't the book just go straight through her though. I don't like she wouldn't get hit by the book though, right? Yes. Sorry. Oh my god, he's handwriting his knee. Oh my god. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What made him want to draw on writing the book in the first place? Because if you see a diary, you're not just gonna be like, oh cool, I'll write in it. Are you? 
And how is this book writing back to him? Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. What the hell? I don't even want this fruit no more. What the f? Oh, great question. I can't even lie. That's top tier. No, nah, no, nah, bro. Could you not be so blunt? <laughs> like, yes. Oh, what? Nigga, like, what do you know? Be like, can you tell me? Yeah, yeah, literally. Why? Oh, no. Throw the book away. Why? Don't just stop. But I can show you. Oh. Let me take you back 50 years ago. What? What in the magic books is... That book's like a memory slash... What's going on? Excuse me. I don't think he can hear you. Oh, someone died. You wish to tell me? He's done the same thing with Harry. Nothing. And Harry lied as well. So he does know something. Good night, sir. Like, there's no way bro said so if the person stopped if the person was caught we don't have to leave home we'd have to leave hogwarts but then says nothing to tell like obviously his kids hide inside but he done would ask you the same question i'm not gonna i'll be fuming because i'll be like wait this is a member i have to follow the guy could you not just like tra transport me to like the important parts like have like his sprinting for his life like <laughs> is that that's the sliver in corridors right evening hagrid Hagrid? What? Stand aside, Hagrid. No! Oh my god! You'll be expelled. Hagrid! Wait, Hagrid! Is that why we keep seeing all the little spiders? Could you imagine just sitting on that chair, like right there behind Harry Potter, and Harry Potter just appears from the book, and you're just sitting there like, what the fuck? Do you know? What I mean? <laughs> Could you imagine? So Hagrid had a pet that killed someone and Tom was going to turn the pet in. Wait, but that doesn't make... How does that... Wait, wait, but that doesn't... That doesn't say that he opened a chamber of secrets, though. That just... That just looked like Hagrid's pet. Spider just killed someone. That doesn't say he opened a chamber of secrets. Because the spider just ran off and he was in, like, a corridor. Unless the corridor is a chamber of secrets. No, no, wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, damn, Hermione. Oh, shit. I thought she was part of the trio. They're not going to be able to solve all this without her. Because of recent events, these new rules will be put into effect immediately. Send the students home. I'm not going to lie. If you've got kids being paralyzed or whatever they called it, send them home. Like, Hogwarts is not safe. You can't keep the kids here. Like, do you get what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you not yeet them home? It's like, even when the kid died 50 years ago, what, the kids didn't get, kids didn't get sent home? Oh, no. Like, even... I oh, no, they were going to send everybody home, innit? And then Tom's like, I don't have a home to go to, so like, you can't... But as soon as that kid died, kids needed to pack their shit and go. Like, what the... Oh, because they think it might be a student, innit? So I guess if you send it home and then bring the kids back, it's just going to happen all over again. Hmm. That kind of makes sense, actually. So you actually, I guess at the same time, you kind of need to keep the kids here to find out who's doing it. And that means sacrificing. Oh, that's actually bad when you deep it. Do you know who's opened the Chamber of Secrets? Quick, under the clock. That's a yes, so he knows who opened the Chamber of Secrets. I'm not gonna lie, I actually believe Hagrid had no idea. The other governors and I have decided it's time for me to step aside. What? You wanna, you wanna fire Dumbledore? Wait, what? <laughs> Dumbledore got fired? You will find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask. Oh, did he know that there? Oh. <laughs> oh my God, he knew this whole time. Oh no, Dumbledore's a G. If anybody was looking for some stuff, then all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. I'm not gonna lie. I said I said that to them first. I said like the, the third, the third, the third, the third attack where the spiders were leaving the body, I said, why don't you just follow the spiders? Because it's not like he said at first, it was unusual that spiders be doing like that. Obviously they couldn't follow it the first time. They wasn't there for the second attack. Go and follow the spiders that were leaving the scene of the crime. Do you know what I'm saying? Like what else could like, what, 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 what else could you have done? What? <laughs> said, follow 
the spiders and into the dark forest. <laughs> I love his voice. The bo spiders. <coughs> we follow the butterflies. You're not wrong, actually. That would have been that would have been a lot less scary. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, Harry's that adventure. I'm with Ron. I can't. The dog's already gone. If that was me, mm -mm, I'm good. Is that you? Wait. Is that who's talking? Why can the spider talk? Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. Why the fuck can you talk? Oh, wait, then again, I guess there was, I guess there was, um, do you know what? I didn't really question the horseman talking. So I guess I really shouldn't question the spider talking. The monster was born in the castle. Born in a castle? I came to Hagrid from a distant land. What distant land? Germany? What? Oh my God. Why is there so many pulling up? Are they going to eat them? Yeah. I'm not going to Harry, get your wand out. Harry, get your wand out. Glad we're out of there. I feel like it's not over yet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are we gonna, they're not going to stop just because you, you left the area. Oh no, that's terrifying. That's, that's, ter that's actually terrifying. I can't even lie. Can that thing still even fly? That makes sense. So there's a creature that the spiders are even scared of that they don't even want to talk about. The spider didn't kill the girl in. Follow the spiders. If Hagrid ever gets out of Azkaban, I'll kill him. So wait, so, okay. So I just need to clear this up. So the spiders didn't kill the girl in the thing. Cause I'm pretty sure the, the spider said Maybe said kid. I don't know if it's a girl or not, actually. Killed a person in the thing. The spider is scared of whatever. Like, they don't even want to say its name or whatever it is that killed the, the girl or person. Someone broke into Harry Potter's room and stole the book of Tom Riddle. So then why did Tom think it was a spider that killed the, uh, the, the, the girl then? As you can see, the heir of Slytherin has left another message. What does it say? What does it say? Students must be sent home. Should have been sent home Students should have been sent home time ago. Oh no, because that makes it. Yeah, they should have been sent home time ago. Like if as soon as kids start getting paralyzed, you should have been sent home. I realized, yeah, they knew they knew it was a monster, right? So, or did they know it was a? I guess the teachers knew it was a monster because that's what she said to the students at the beginning. So either way, it wasn't even that they thought. I tried to make an excuse for them about you know the the teachers wanted to like find out for who, who the kid was, but. It was never a kid. It was a monster doing all this stuff. And because I, I forgot, she literally said it to the, to, the, to the Harry Potter's class. So why did you keep the kids here? Who was it, my daughter? I don't know. I was distraught. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just remember seeing a pair of great big yellow eyes over there by the lattice gate. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. This snake's not doing a good job at killing anyone. Like all you ha all you have to do is get kids to look at you and they're dead and you can't even do that. Like that's this thing is not doing a good job. Yes. Convenient. He knows how to now. Okay. What the hell? No wonder how they never found it. How do you get down there though? But like, there's no ladder or nothing. If you die down there, you're welcome to share my toilet. Hey yo. <laughs> Oh my god, it's, sh it's shed skin. How big is this? It looks like a snake. I mean, snake skin. Yeah. That is huge. What do I do now? Honestly. And try and shift some of this rock so we can get back through. I'll go on and find Ginny. Okay. By yourself? Oh, but then again, I guess if he comes in contact with a snake, he could probably just talk to it. But I'd have to do it with his eyes closed. So that might be a bit of a sticky one. Oh, what the hell is that? A lock? A door? But so... So he can just... He just knows how to speak it now. Like he had no idea what he was doing. We didn't see him like try and practice with it or anything, but he can just... He could just speak it. Like, whenever he wants now. Oh my God. I the mechanics for this chamber of secrets are mad. But again, how can why can he just speak it whenever he wants now? 
Like at first it was because he saw the snake. Do you get what I'm saying? Like he saw the snake, so and it just happened. The first time was even in English. The second time was because he did he he, he maybe okay, alright, whatever. No, I was gonna say imagine if Chamber Secrets was never opened, but Harry's one opened, but then I, but then I just realized that the snake's already been paralyzing people and writing stuff on wait, so how has the snake been writing stuff on the wall? Unless it's like a snake like the spider. Because the spider can talk, right? So maybe like the spider, the spider's also like the snake's smart enough to write stuff on. Maybe okay, that would make sense actually. Oh, why is she just, why is she just laying there? Wake up, please wake up. Whoa, is that Tom? Tom, Tom Riddle. Why is he not dead? What do you mean she won't wake? She's not. That can't be your first question. She's cold as ice. She's an idiot. Please don't be dead. Wake up. Why did you drop your wand? How is it that a baby with no extraordinary magical talent was able to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? How did you escape with nothing but a scar? Wait, defeat? Then Voldemort's powers were destroyed. Why do you care how I escaped? Wait, I thought... I, wait, so wait, wait, wait. What? He defeated Voldemort? Wait, that's actually such a great question. How did Voldemort lose his power? Because obviously, so Voldemort attacked Harry Potter... Oh, love, right? Because his mum loved him. So when Voldemort attacked him, did it like repel and go back to Voldemort so he lost his power? No, nah, that can't be. That can't be right. That, that can't be right. Voldemort was after your time. Voldemort is. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, right. Because he was a baby. Voldemort would have just been like, what, 12 years ago? But he was, he was like 50 years. Yeah, how do you know about Voldemort? Yes, I'm Wait, I'm... What? What? Huh? Wait, is it not gonna eat the Geldo? Oh. Oh no, he's. Oh no. Oh god. What? Oh, okay, yeah, you're dead. Oh, damn! Hey, go on, Falcon! I don't know your name, I just assume you're a Falcon. Can still hear you. Oh, so it can't use his eyes anymore. Oh no, this bird's a G. This bird's a G, I can't lie. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Keep still. Keep still. Wait, can snakes, can snakes smell? Oh, they have a nose, so they should be able to smell, right? I'm not gonna lie, I don't. Oh, we got bit. I guess Harry won the, the battle because damn, played Harry. I'm not gonna lie, I question you for running up there. I'm not gonna lie. What are you doing? What was he doing? Stop. No. Oh, because he's a memory. Oh, damn. Oh, because that's the. Oh, that makes. Oh, okay. Okay. Drapes it across the page. Yeah, he's dead. Played. Because if that's the thing that makes him a memory's present, destroy the book. Oh, she's alive. She woke up quick. I, I thought she was nearly dead. Oh, I guess her energy or powers came back to her then. You were brilliant, folks. Fawkes, that's his name. I just wasn't quick enough. I'm not going to lie. The fact that Harry's like in the brink of death, but he's so calm and composed about it. He's like a real G. Oh, the teardrops. It has healing, right? Oh, I remember Dumbledore saying something about that. Yeah, that's fire. Thanks. It's all right, Ginny. But like, deep it. Harry was about to die, but he was calm. Like he was like, "Well, I will quick enough. I'm sorry." But that was calm. I'm like, I no, nah, Harry's a G. This guy was prepared for death. You both realize, of course, that in the past few hours, you have broken perhaps a dozen school rules. Yeah, but they also saved. They also saved the school as well. So I feel like we should probably just let them off. He transferred some of his powers to you. The night he gave you that scar. So wait, if you go to kill someone, which I'm guessing he used the same spell that he went to and kill his mom with, he probably used the same spell to go and kill Harry with. Why would his powers get transform get put into Harry? I don't how? What why is he here? Oh, Dobby! Out of my way, 
No, nah, you lost your mind. It's true. There's no man putting a cane up next to me like that. I'm knocking you out. Mr. Potter will always be around to save the day. Hey, yo. Don't worry. I will be. Damn. The confidence. Love that. Too fair. When, when bro was on the brink of death, he didn't even hesitate. I bro was on it. Oh, whoa, whoa. The Malfoy. Why does he want to give him the book? I think you slipped the diary into Ginny Weasley's cauldron that day at Diagon Alley. Ah. Who? Oh, my God, he did. Yeah, because he, oh, my God, he did. Because there was, because I remember he took one book out and there was two books that went in. And, oh, my God. Oh, my days. I. Come, Dobby. The foreshadowing of that is crazy. Oh, bro, give him his sock. You shall not harm Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my God. Hold tight, Dobby. How can Dobby ever repay you? Maybe just live your life. Never try to save my life again. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah. Play, yeah. I agree with that one because this thing was dangerous. Like, I can't even lie. Before we begin the feast, let us have a round of applause for Professor Sprout, whose mandrake juice has been so... Oh, yeah, we're not played. Oh, we're not, we're not clapping yet, sorry. Yeah, no, played, played, played. Can't even lie, you man did bits, you man did bits. Oh, bravo, 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 bravo. Oh, this guy's not even laughing. I mean, clapping. All exams have been cancelled. <laughs> My girl's fuming. So wait, how are you going to get graded then? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, he's back. Sorry I'm late. Yeah. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. I'd just like to say that uh, if it hadn't been for you, Harry, and Ron, and Hermione, of course. I mean, she didn't really. No, nah, she did. She did. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I'll tell him, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him about your spider. I'll be like, listen, we went to your spider, we tried to eat us, you need to sort it out. I can't even lie. Like, give it more food or sighting car, boy. There's no Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. That's cute. I can't even lie. That's really cute. Oh, bless him. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Guess who's back? Back again. Hagrid's back. Tell a friend. Yeah. Come on. Oh, wow. His head looks big, bro. I can't even lie. Is that just me? You don't see that? Like, his face looks big. Is that just me? Maybe it's the way his mouth is. I don't even know, but his face looks big. I'm not going to lie. That was great. Like, I, I, prefer the, I prefer this one over the first one. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, this one was actually, this one was really good. A couple, a couple questions, though. Um... <coughs> how comes the hat spawned a sword like and why did it and how would and ha, if did Voldemort transfer his powers to Harry Potter because of his mum's curse which is like the love curse is that what is that is that is that like what would is that where we're going with this is that the reason because obviously he killed his mum and then obviously because she died she cursed him with love so Voldemort couldn't hurt him so is that why he got the powers but then that doesn't make that doesn't really make any sense like how would you accidentally couldn't like send your powers to someone you know what I'm saying I, I feel like that I, I don't know why they don't just explain it there and then but I don't know well maybe they don't have the answers in this particular moment in time but anyway if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like like I said Patreon members will get this way before YouTube so if you guys do want to check out uh, the Patreon for the harry potter movies plus some other stuff that we're doing beforehand um i also want to do more anime i just don't know what anime to watch i can't even lie to you um but yeah guys enjoy the video leave a like subscribe to become a don today and i'll catch you dons in a bit